This afternoon I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video into your Hot Potatoes activity. This means you will be able to have videos in your Hot Potatoes activities and the file size will be small. And the benefit of this is that you can only upload 4 megabyte files to Rosenhost but if you embed a YouTube video your Hot Potatoes files will stay small enough to upload to Rosenhost. So the first thing that we need to do is join YouTube. The best way to do this is from your Gmail account. So go to your Gmail and in the top menu beside Reader where it says More, click on that, go down the list to YouTube. You will now be on the YouTube page where it says create an account in the top right. Click on that. On this page you will click on sign me up. On this page we give ourselves a username. You can choose any name you like. Choose a location. I would prefer not to choose South Korea because South Korea does not let people upload YouTube videos, which is what you will want to do. Now insert your date of birth, your gender, click on let others find my channel, leave this bottom option blank because you do not want them to send you junk mail. At the bottom click I accept. Now on this page you can sign in with your YouTube or you can sign in with your Gmail account. I'm going to sign in with my Gmail and password and sign in. Now I'm registered with YouTube. Now all I need to do is ensure that at the bottom of the page the language is English and the location is something different from South Korea. If at the bottom of the page it says South Korea, you will not be able to upload video. So you can change this by simply clicking on here and choosing a different location. Anyway, mine says Australia, so at the top of the page I click Upload. Now on this page I click Upload Video. And I need to choose the video from my computer. So I locate where I keep my videos and I'm going to choose one of my tutorial videos. Now you can upload MP4 files or Windows Media files or AVI files. This is an MP4 file and as you can see it begins uploading. Give the video a title. I'm called, give it a description. The title is important, the description is not so important. Tags, don't worry about tags for now. Category, education. And share your video, you want to keep that as an option. Click save changes. And there we have our video. Next, click on go to my videos. Now it is still processing this video so we will not be able to see it playing in YouTube. However, we can still get the code that we need to embed into our Hot Potatoes activity. So click on play and you can see that it says this video is not yet processed. It will be in about 10 minutes but below the video or sometimes on the right but in this case below the video it says get embed code. Click on that and we have some options. Here's the code and we can choose the size of our video. I'm going to choose a small video because I'm going to embed this in hot potatoes. I want it a bit smaller. I can choose a border if I want. From there I go up to this code I select all and I copy. From here 
I need to go to my hot potatoes activity and I'm going to embed this code. At my hot potatoes activity, I can embed the video anywhere I like. However, I think it is best to embed it as an accompanying text. So see this little book button here? Click on that. Click on include a reading text. If you don't click that, the text will not show up. Give this a title. And then in the text box below, simply right click and paste. And you will see our YouTube code embedded. Click OK. Click File Save. File Create Web Page. Standard format. Save. Yes. And View Exercise in my browser. As you can see, I have embedded the YouTube video into my Hot Potatoes activity. The thing to remember is that this video is not saved as a file in our Hot Pot folder. It is simply a link or a transmission to the YouTube site. So it saves file size when we upload to our server. And that is how you join YouTube, upload videos in YouTube, and embed the YouTube video in your Hot Potatoes activity. Good luck. If you have any questions, please email me.